So we have uh, we have a new um, and probably short for this world uh, as far as the YouTube uh, world is concerned. Uh, we have a new account that has just started posting things apparently, uh, or maybe not just started, but just just came onto my radar. So it means like uh, if you just if you just I got onto my radar. Oh yeah, been trying for over a year. Been trying for over a year uh, uh, and not doing a very good job. Uh, so this is a uh, trans conservative uh, person. Uh, I don't know his name. Uh, I don't know. Um, he might introduce himself. Uh, so this is this is a video called "A Little Talk About Air Quotes Preferred Pronouns." Uh, again, by a person by a person named the offensive T slur. Like, it's right in their name is the T-slur. So, uh, that's pretty cool. And so we're going to learn about this pick-me and why he thinks that the people's preferred pronouns are just totally not a big deal. Um, he's a conservative as well. He wears a MAGA hat. You know, just all the worst things. <laughs> all the worst goddamn things. So, uh, here's, here's this fella, uh, uh saying that uh, although he is a valid trans person, the others the others are the bad ones. He's one of the good ones, okay? I have never in my life told anyone what kind of pronouns I use. Wow. Even though I didn't pass for years prior to testosterone, people still called me he because they knew when I said I'm a trans guy and when I previously said... That's the same thing. That's the same thing. My name is Marcus. They could kind of figure out what was going on. That's you. What? You're. I don't know why he's acting like this is some sort of like like. Oh, I figured it out. I f that's not different. You're literally giving them the same information and hoping they stumble upon with all these fucking breadcrumbs and clues to land on he him. You are asking for validation in the same exact way. It isn't different. You are ridiculous. It's just saying your pronouns with extra steps. Absolutely. Preferred pronouns is a term you hear a lot these days. Are pronouns something you have to earn or something you should demand? You don't have to earn your pronouns or your identity. That's stupid and wrong. Do I have to say anything more than that? It's stupid and wrong. You're dumb and stupid and wrong. Well, of course it's A. And what I don't mean, and this is before you type it in the comments, okay. what I don't mean is if you can't pass, people should use the wrong pronouns. I don't mean it like that. You Do you mean it if you can't pass? Which passing is a fucking stupid concept anyway. Uh, uh, although I know that some of you desire it. Are you saying that they should expect it to happen anyway? Misgendering should be expected to happen. The, the, the paint right here is driving me fucking crazy, though. What is going on with the corner of this? What is this? I don't like this. It's driving me really... Is this is it like a 45-degree angle here? I don't know what this is. It's really bothering me. Now you won't be able to unsee it either. You have to make an effort as a transsexual in order to earn your pronouns. No, you don't. You don't have to. Uh, there's no amount of, uh, of uh, earning that needs to be done. Uh, this is harmful. This is stupid. Um, it's fucking sad, bro. Like, wh why? Okay, so, so why do you think you need to be earning any, any sort of pronoun usage? Why? Like, what's the... I don't understand. What's the mechanism there that says that Oh, well. Well, now you're valid. How do we know when you're valid? How do we know when you're invalid? Like, what? <laughs> so dumb. The lucky thing is, all real transsexuals do make an effort because they have the condition... Real transsexuals? ...and a dysphoria that forces them to make the effort, forces them to transition in some way. This is... This doesn't account for most of people's trans experiences. <laughs> like, what are you talking about, bro? A real transsexual. Shut the fuck up. I wish I knew this guy's name so I could yell at him more. What a dumbass.
This would be this would be like me if I just because I don't fucking like you and I think you're a dumb dumb. This would be like me going, not a real guy, she her. Like why would I do that? Oh, it was Marcus. You're right. It was Marcus. I had already forgotten. <laughs> like like why would I do that? Why would I invalidate you just because you're a fucking dumbass? Your gender still exists. Your identity is still there. Just because I think that you're you have a cockroach brain doesn't mean that I think that you should not have your identity. You dumb piece of shit. Jesus fucking Christ. This shit bothers me. This is not a big deal. Everyone who deals with gender dysphoria, they know this and they don't have a problem with what I'm saying. The ones who do have a problem with this are the trans trenders, are the fake trans people who- Who is a trans trender? These people don't exist. What are you talking about? Is this 2015? Who? What? He's just got fucking brain scorpions. What is happening? Dr. Bellum has diagnosed this guy with, with cringe. Sorry, you, uh, you've been diagnosed with cringe? Gonna have to take your, uh, 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 YouTube card away. There's just no fucking... These people don't exist. There have been people who identify themselves as trans trenders. Like four? Like four ever, maybe? I can't name a single one. I don't remember any of them. Not a one. I don't think this is a thing. I, I think I, I think that's a not... Like probably a gender fluid or a non-binary person who's probably also conservative that just didn't understand what the fuck was going on didn't understand that you can validly move around. Right? Because no one told them. I don't think there's... I don't think trans trending is a thing. I think trans trending is a situation where you might have somebody that... Like, 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 even if they're not a conservative, I think it just might be a mistake on their part not understanding that you don't have to adhere... Like, once you make a... Once you make a determination on your gender that that can just never change, it's immutable from here on out. That's not how it works. And I feel like if they say like, oh, well, maybe this would make me more comfortable and I will I will identify myself as a woman for a while. And then they go like, oh, this doesn't actually do that. I'm going to not identify myself as a woman anymore. But maybe they but maybe through that they find something that does make them comfortable. But then they call themselves a trans trender because they tried it. Ill timed cackle from the goblin. This is dumb. This is just dumb. If you if you have a gender, and you probably do, it's okay if it changes <laughs> at any point. Who use extremely weird pronouns? It's called neo pronouns. Weird pronouns. Simser, bond, bon self, bunny bunny self. I think. And these are super rare, and the only person that uses them is in our chat right now, and it's Holly. The list goes on and on, just like the fake genders. These are- Bun, right? <laughs> Bunny posting. This is so fucking stupid, and and, and by the way, Holly does not use that. Um, um, it was just, uh, I was just counter bun posting, uh, uh, since she always does in my fucking chat. But, uh, uh, <laughs> This is fucking dumb. I, I don't care what your pronouns are, dude. What what I do, I think the only thing if you have a neo pronoun, um, um, one that isn't uh, he him she her they them, um, just give people some time to try to learn it. And I think most do, right? I don't I don't think there's anyone that's like I can't believe you didn't think that I was gonna be fay fair, right? I can't believe you didn't think that I was gonna be that, right? Like, of course not. That's not how people operate. Most people that have neo pronouns uh, uh, outside of the big three really don't expect people to just stumble upon that. That isn't a person that exists. Uh, I also think neo pronouns are weird, but I also think they're so rare that doesn't matter. It's just shitty not to use them anyway. And that's kind of where I'm at too. If you if if your pronouns are very specific like that, I'm like, okay, well, what? I, I'm fascinated by that. I want to know why you think that's more comfortable to you than than. Um, she, he, they, you know, whatever combination. I want to hear that. I want to understand it better because I don't know a lot of people that are like that. And then I'll just use those pronouns for you forever. 
And that's as long as I can remember. And if I fuck up, I fuck up and I'll try to do better. And that's really all it is. Because because I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, I just want everyone to be as comfortable as possible, dude. And if, and if you know one person that uses, I don't know, <laughs> an ab, uh, just, just, just a, a more rare pronoun, I guess. It's not even abnormal. It's just rare. Uh, then, I mean, what, what are you going to fucking be like, no, you're not. How do you know, dude? How do you fucking know? How is this, how is this, like, uh, debatable? They, they don't exist. Well, here Faye are. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like so fucking dumb, dude. These are the people I'm talking to. Everyone just you wants to buy. To That's what it is. Pronouns. If you make no effort at all to you don't have to make effort you dumb piece of shit to look like a woman people are not gonna call you she bro you're not look 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 <sighs> you're a trans man telling other people they are invalid for not passing a certain way but like you're not like a fucking lumberjack you're not this bastion of masculinity so is the bar femboy as long as you're at least a femboy, you can be called a boy, but no less! Like, where's the fucking line, idiot? What do you mean? And I know cis women that are pretty fucking manly. I used to I used to work with this this lady, and she was gay, but she was cis. She was she was just real mask. She was very she was very like like aggressive. She was more aggressive than me. Her name was Denise, and she was very mean to everybody. Uh, uh, she was also nice to people at the time. I don't know, it was a weird thing. But she was definitely, like, a masculine person, right? Like, she just exuded masculinity while being a lady and being a... At least when I knew her, I don't know if it's changed. Comfortable being a lady. Comfortable being a woman and identifying as such. And, uh, 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 I, I don't know what... Like, yeah, I imagine when she was young, she was considered a tomboy growing up. When really she was just, like, a butch lesbian that was very, very mask. And it's like... I thought she was fine for the most part. Like, she was mean sometimes. She was nice sometimes. She was kind of funny. But she worked at McDonald's, and she was trying to do her best. And she was a lesbian that didn't feel comfortable coming out. She came out to some of us, but you know what I mean. Like, so I get I get kind of, like, the pathos of that individual's personality. And, like, I would consider her more masculine than you by a lot. And that's not that's not a dig. I think you're valid and fine like this, even though you're a piece of shit. I think this is a fine way to live. You You're a femboy. I get it. That's how it is. I don't know if you want to be a femboy. Maybe you're yoked as fuck under here. And and it's like it's like it's like tricky femboy. And you're just like, ooh, accidentally ripped femboy. That's fine too. I'm sure lots of people are into that. But you're not like this fucking masculine bomb. So why if if you're valid, why is someone else invalid? Are you just over the line? At, at what point can can someone be valid to this? Uh, it's so stupid and her and that's totally fine and justified if you do make an effort to ruse thanks for the follow will try to do it they will slip up sometimes that's totally natural and you should also accept that we all make mistakes so this is a sad attempt to be accepted by a community that does not normally accept you this is exactly what this is this is what blair white did this is what he's doing same shit dude over and over Surrounded by conservatism, probably comes from a, a relatively conservative family, enough to have a MAGA hat. And it's like, I'm trans, but I'm one of the good ones. Please validate me. Because it's painful to be who you are in, in American society. And so instead of being a focus of that oppression, which trans people face, you avoid being caught up in the, in the, the sort of the flood of negativity there. By just, by just embracing the people that fucking hate you. It's kind of like a cope, dude. And that's sad, and it probably is, that's probably not inaccurate at all. I don't know. I don't think this person should have a fucking channel. I really fucking think this is terrible, terrible and harmful thing to call your channel and like, like look at this like it's just a bunch of people just being like yeah there's fake genders wow like shut the fuck up it's so bad 
And I don't think anybody like I, I think this is the first time that someone like me has gotten a hold of one of these videos. <laughs> Ugh. So what it really comes down to is this divide that's still going on with real transsexuals who just want to be left alone and live their lives. There's not fake trans transsexuals. And then the fake trans people who are dominating the LGBT culture in the West. All in the West, what, you don't have. Oh my God, I I would consider having a conversation with this person. I feel like I can help. I feel like I can help this. Seems like a less aggressive Calvin. Yeah, it seems like a little, little bitch boy version of Calvin. I agree. There's no fake trans people. Yes, absolutely. That's totally true. I I don't I don't think no true Scotch trans. Jesus Christ. Good call, baby bird. Good call. Space Commander Fox, thanks for the first timer, dude. Appreciate you. I just got here in holy moly. Yeah, this is really bad. Real dumb. All of this can be solved with a very simple solution. Validation. It's called mutual respect. Then do that. Then do the mutual respect thing. You just called a bunch of trans people invalid for not trying hard enough or some shit. Whatever that fucking vaguely means. What do you mean? What do you mean? What? Oh, he's dumb, dumb. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Super dumb. Super dumb. I've never been in a situation where okay. someone is using the wrong pronouns uh -huh. on purpose. Ever. Not once. Do you have a Twitter account? Is that a coincidence? Am I just lucky? Has it something to do where I live? Maybe. But my theory is I'm always respectful to the people I'm talking to. This motherfucker thinks that trans people are just fucking asking for it because of the way they act. What? No matter who I'm talking to, if they even understand what it means to be trans, if they have no understanding at all, I'm just raised to always be respectful. It comes really natural to me. This is not me trying to... It just... I, I can't... Not me trying to what? I don't understand what that meant. Can't be disrespectful towards someone who doesn't deserve it. People what do you mean? What are you talking about? People on the far left have no problem with that. The opinion of preferred pronouns also comes down to you automatically have to respect every trans person's preferred pronouns. Yes! That's what mutual respect is! You just said do mutual respect unless... That shouldn't be the case. I That's fucking dumb! You just... Wh how do you have this c mutual respect and unless it's something I don't want to respect? Isn't respect! Marcus, you dumb piece of shit! Why is he so stupid? I'll give you a perfect example. Let's do a perfect example. Of this, and it's so disturbing. I don't even want to bring this up. And I'm not going to show the person's face or name or anything like that. But there is a Danish TikToker. I think he got like 2,500 followers. He's what, is that that weird guy that wears suits? That guy? A self-identified trans woman who's a lesbian and has admitted to send videos of him masturbating to kids. What? I'm doing hormones now, but I'm super early on, so I still look femme as fuck. I wonder if this dude would call me she, her. Like, where's his line, what's a real trans and what's not? Uh, well, no, you're a fake, you're a fake trans, Vellum, okay? Because there can only be one valid trans man, and that is Marcus. Other Danish trans YouTubers called him out. I, this is just like vague. What is this vague shit about? Saying what is he this? And him. Show the TikTok. And the comments were filled with. Is it happening? Is the TikTok going to come up? You better show it. Is this it right here? I don't know what this is. Okay. People saying, 
I mean, it's disturbing, but you should call her she. She's she's a trans person. You should call her she. Oh, this is like a Jessica and Eve thing. Okay. Okay. Shitty people, including yourself, Marcus. Your identity is not deleted by your shitty actions. So that's really all it comes down to. Yeah. That's it. I'm fine with that. Yeah. I don't care. If 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 Marcus, you did something horrible and reprehensible, similar to what 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 Jessica and Eve or or this other person apparently has done, or just anything, anything that you think would be something that that you would you would take someone else's validity away from them. If you did any of those actions, Marcus, I would not take your your identity from you in my language. Um, it's just not something that's reasonable. It doesn't make me better. It's just a thing that you do because you know it will hurt the other person's feelings. Um, and it just makes you look like, by the way, you're not a real, per you're not a real man. You're not a real woman. You're not a real, you know, you're fake. You're LARPing. And I only go along with this, this, this act while you keep in line. And once you step out of line, now you're invalid to me. And you're just a, you're just a, you're just a gross, you know, a uh, uh, person pretending to be whoever you are. Like that, that's what it comes across as, dude. It's 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 disgusting. It's fucking gross, bro. Uh, yeah, like Caitlyn Jenner, awful person, still a woman. Yes, it's just so fucking. Uh, it's icky, dude. Like you're you're an icky person. It's fucking gross. I don't know how. I don't know. I genuinely don't know how. You can have this take and think, I'm a good person, and, like, sleep. Like, what? <laughs> You're a fucking shitty person, dude. And this is where I just want to give up and be like, no. Good, please give up. I can't with good. this anymore. Give up. Walk into the ocean. If you are a pedophile, I don't care how you identify. I will not call you by your preferred anything. Because that means wow. I have the slightest nice virtue signal. To respect for you. And I really don't. I wouldn't want to... I don't think it... Wait, what? I don't think... Wait. It's not about having respect for the person that does anything. What if they're a cis pedo? Right, exactly. No, you can't take that away because then then a cis pedophile... The, those pronouns are not preferred. Those are correct, right? The preferred. So it's like invalidating yourselves. And this is, this, this is like the problem, right? Like, like... It's it's why I don't do it or partake in it, and I don't like, and I don't like, <laughs> you know, I don't like anybody that, that takes part in this. If you if you are willing, and I, I had to yell at uh, Repsion did this back in the day. Um, he's done it to uh, Riley Dennis, and he's done it to Jessica and Eve. Uh, only one of those people is seems to be a good person. That's Riley. Um, uh, but Jessica and Eve gets to be a bag of shit without other trans people seeing you invalidate an identity because you stepped out of line now and th when does it stop does it stop at pedophile or like what if they b blow a stop sign can you take someone's identity away from them then are they no longer a valid trans person because they pissed you off how pissed do you have to be what if they called you a dumb piece of shit are they no longer valid because you're a dumb piece of shit and so like 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 even if they're saying something accurate like you being a scientifically dumb piece of shit like, like, are they still validly trans if they say that? What if, what if they did something a little bit more? What if it's less than pedophilia, but more than calling you a dumb piece of shit? Like, punching you in the face. Is it only when it's murder? Is it only, like, what if they beat you, what if they punch you twice in the face? What if they beat you up? What if they put you in the hospital? Are they no longer, hmm, I don't know. It's, it seems like a pretty fucking th weird line to have that's not grounded in anything except for your fucking feelings. Isn't it, Marcus? Fucking loser. The LGBT community says that using the right pronouns with with people is basic respect. Yeah, Eccleston, you're not far off from that. If a black person does something that you don't like, you get to call them the N word, right? Exactly. Maybe that's true. So if someone is a pedophile, I will not give them the basic respect or anything. Another big problem I have with this preferred pronouns thing is how the LGBT community, the radical current LGBT community, they want to change basic human interaction. What? 
what? Listen to what they want us to say to each other. A great way to ask someone's pronoun when you first meet them is to say your name, state your pronouns, then ask the person you're meeting with what their name and pronouns are. Ha That's easy. Yeah, yeah. I just ask. I just straight up ask. Like, you've heard me ask people's pronouns all the time. Like, hey, just so I don't get it wrong, what are your pronouns? Like, that's it. And you just go, okay, cool. That's it. It's the whole thing. It's done. Hi, my name is Tristan. I use he, him, his pronouns. What sure. is your name and pronouns? Hi, my name is Jordan, and I use they, them, theirs pronouns. Thank you for asking. Hell no, this is going to be normalized. H hell yeah, it's already normalized. That's pretty normal. It took, it took like two years for it to be normalized. Once I heard about this, people saying like, oh, just ask pronouns. I was like, hey, that's actually pretty, pretty good. Maybe it had been three years ago now, really, when this really sort of became the, the, the way we decided, well, I guess you decided as a community, uh, and we more collectively as just, just a, a other society that interacts with you. Um, I mean, you chat, not him. Uh, <laughs> it just became normal part of, part of life. Like, like, unless I already know, I'll probably just ask one time. I'll just try to remember it. And, you know, I do my best. That's it. That's all it is. I don't even think it sounds forced and clunky at all. Like, like, for instance, I could be like, um, hey, Doodle Burb, how you doing today? Um... And you go, greetings people in general was greeting people in general is normalized. Why can't this be exactly? And we just sort of have like a sort of a conversation. Oh hey. And you say, hey uh and I go, um, oh hey, j I, I actually forgot or I don't know, I don't know. Uh uh just so I don't fuck it up, what are your what are your pronouns? Because, you know, I want to make sure that like uh you know, I don't actually misgender anybody. Uh and then Doodle Burb would respond with whatever they are, my things aren't on. It's they them. There you go. No, no problems. They don't. Oh, cool. Yeah, I see him. I'm just a boring sis. And then uh, that's it. And we have a conversation, and now it's good. That's all it takes, chat. Thanks for playing along, Doodle Burb. I love your face. Um, it's just, it's like really easy to have this conversation. And just, it's not awkward to talk about. And it's not like, like, and it's not even clocking people, right? The only thing I'm clocking about you when I ask your pronouns is that you're clearly not a MAGA hat wearing loser. Okay? If I ask you your pronouns, it's not because you look real gay. It's not because you look queer. You might, but it's not because of that. Right? It's because you look like you're probably someone that I will socialize with and I care enough about you to ask. Right? <laughs> That's all it is. That's all it is. And I don't even ask all the time. Right? Like, that just might come up in the conversation. If someone definitely looks queer, like I would say, I would say that Marcus looks like a typical um, um, femme boy, right? I don't think there's like like a ton of a ton of stuff going on, but the hairstyle, the glasses, the choice of glasses, the earring, um, uh, the sort of the sort of slim uh, uh, femme boy look here, I would probably ask. I'd be like, especially especially once he started talking, I can't, right? Because he sound he sounds like a member of the gay community. <laughs> Um, in, in some stereotypical ways, but other non-stereotypical ways. I think he looks fine. I think he's a good-looking dude. Um, I have no problem with him at all, except for his fucking personality. Um, yeah, the earrings... I think this is a fine look. I don't like the... I, this strip of white is driving me nuts. But, like, like... Um, you're feeling this for today? Well, I'm sorry about that. Um, um... Vivi Corsack. What are your pronouns, Vivi? How are you doing today? I didn't refresh my thing. It might be this might be answered in a second after I refresh my chat. You might already have the pronoun bot. Uh, you do not have the pronoun bot, so I don't know. So um, it's a small wall that the light is hitting. It's a wall. No, no, no. The wall goes here, and the wall goes here, and it looks like they did like an accent of yellow. But because this. You think it's like coming out of the window or something? I don't know. It's just driving me nuts. It's not moving. Yeah. Is she here? Well, there you go. Thank you for uh, sharing with that. And uh, yeah. can we get some? Uh, can we get some cobbies in chat? Uh, uh, for Vivi Corsack, who is uh, feeling a little icky today, show some love. Put some put some cobberinos up in there. Get the good feels out here. 
Yeah, it was the white paint with the to border the weird off yellow. I don't like it. it drives me nuts. Uh. <laughs> anyway, let's finish this video. Up. So, I know um, this is so silly mentioning because real transsexual, all real transsexuals, they know this, what? but we have a real? responsibility to show the respect to the people we de demand respect from. Thank you all for watching this video. That was it? That was the whole fucking thing? Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, okay. You do not have to, in any circumstance, in any circumstance, you do not have to go out of your way to give respect to somebody that would otherwise misgender you, okay? You just don't have to. It's not... There's nothing to do to make you a valid trans person. You're valid at all times, whether you're trans or not. Um, I do think, though, um, and and I don't care if uh, I don't. I mean, just don't. Care. I mean, you just can't name your channel this. If you'd like to go here and uh, and do anything, I'm about to. I'm gonna have to report this. I just can't. I mean, I just. <laughs> you just can't. You just can't be that. Just name yourself fucking Marcus, dude. I don't know why. I do know why you named yourself this, but I don't know why you felt the need to do that kind of shit. Um, let's see. Uh, probably hateful or abusive content. Um, uh, I would say promotes that. Uh, next. Um... <clears throat> Literal, uh, transphobic slur as the name of the channel. It's not something I think YouTube should be allowing. IMO. There we go. Uh, timestamp selected. Just fucking zero, my dude. Just all of it. Thanks. You're welcome. All right. Yeah. Why am I reporting him? His name is the offensive T-slur, but he didn't write T-slur. He wrote the word.